This is a story about dreamers, slackers, jesters, friends, adventurers, who, with a bit more hard work than they probably expected, lucked their way into creating a backpack that became an icon. There was a little bit of irreverence in us, a little bit of uh, wildness sometimes. Uh, they were uh, definitely a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, make sure you have a lot of fun with what you're doing and uh, it won't seem like work. This is a story about endless youth and expedition, a love of adventure, a time that held within it an irreverent and unsquashable dream of freedom. After college, my uh, cousin and I, Murray, uh, didn't want to get a real job. And he designed a frame that won an award with Alcoa for best use of aluminum. And it was a frame for backpacking. So we thought if we could start a business that uh, fit our passion of the outdoors, backpacking and uh, climbing, it'd be a win-win. And we needed somebody to sew the bags. And Murray was dating this girl and she had a home sewing machine. And she was real good with patterns, and her name was Jan. He said, Jan, if you marry me, I'll name the company after you. So that's where the name Jansport came from. It started with a wish to be outside with their friends, exploring the natural world. So their packs were made to withstand the harshest conditions while not breaking their back. The pack has made it all the way to the top of Everest twice, K2, Kachinjunga and Mount Rainier over 700 times. We say the veneer of civilization falls off when you're up high and you're cold and you're hungry. And you can tell the true merit of an individual. And uh, it's nice to get a, a testing ground like that. We have the longest running consecutive group climb on Rainier. It's over 40 years now. It's an opportunity for us to develop long-lasting relationships and, ex and experience something that is truly like life-changing for anybody who participates in it. I remember going on the Jansport seminar up in Mount Rainier. We'd meet all kinds of fun people coming, uh, joining together to have a great experience up in the mountain and live through horrific weather, beautiful sunshine, do some exciting ice climbing, and the highlight was getting down as a group and celebrating our successes. Mountaineering and the outdoors are at their heart, but Jansport today is an icon on a different stomping ground, campuses and schools across the United States. Jansport's iconic pack was created and sold originally for hiking and cross-country skiing, but college students in Seattle in the rainy season realized it was perfectly suited for carrying their books, so Jansport stitched in a leather bottom. Ed Bergen, the buyer, called me one day and he said, uh, Skip, the students are buying your day packs. Why don't you put some vinyl at first and then later on leather? Auto upholstery industry vinyl, it's how they use it to increase in durability. It's just the material they had on hand. So, you know, you go from like the frame packs into like the day pack. So what do you need in a day pack? It needs to be lightweight, it needs to be durable. Everything about those bags is about functional simplicity. And that's what sold us into a lot of those college bookstores. A lot of that DNA is still in our products. The things that made us successful early on was appropriate for the outdoors and is appropriate for like any adventure you want to take it on. Jansport's dedication to the outdoors goes further than backpacks and into the lives of real kids every day. Jansport partners with associations and nonprofits that encourage outdoor exploration and engaging with the natural world. Since 1990, Jansport has partnered with Big City Mountaineers to transform the lives of underserved youth. And Big City Mountaineers is a group that goes in to urban communities and introduces kids who haven't had that outdoor experience. I think that Jansport in, in general may have introduced more people to the outdoors than any company I know. I can say that I really thank BCM. It's just a, an amazing experience that I just don't have any words to like explain, you know? Jansport also partners with Ski for Light, a nonprofit that takes visually impaired people cross country skiing. And the Mountain Film Festival in Telluride hosts a celebration of the cultures unique to mountain communities and the power of film and the arts to create social change. But 
even with all the changes over the years, Jansport still stands for what it always did. Good times with friends. And a big part of that is music, energy, free expression, and the outdoors. So in 2010, we started this event called the Bonfire Sessions, and it's the idea of bringing local bands to your city and having an outdoor concert with our community. We start each year at South by Southwest to kick off the festival season. We've been to Vancouver and Montreal, New York, San Francisco, Seattle. Jansport was founded on this idea of getting out and exploring and the best place for you to have adventures is when we're outside. And we basically celebrate the idea of creative self-expression. And Live Outside has been traveling around the world, giving street artists a huge canvas. For Live Outside, we partner with street artists around the world to give them a platform and give them a canvas, if you will, of a giant mural in the heart of their city. It's really cool to be able to do something big in such a great location, especially for female artists. The unique thing about Live Outside is that when we partner with these artists, we're not interested in telling them what to do. We want people to be authentic to who they are and what they see as self-expression. And that can also be seen in the effect that art can have on a community. It's totally freakadelic. The Jansport story is way more than a story about making backpacks. It's a story about freedom. The freedom to be yourself. The freedom of good times. The freedom to get out, go further, see more, and express yourself. The freedom to experience life outside your front door, wherever that door may be. This is a story about dreamers. <laughs>